Hello everyone and thank you for joining us at the Predator World Women's Temple Championships here in Sport Park Klagenfurt in Austria. It's uh, Jasmine Ushan versus Pia Filler from Germany. And uh, before we get on on the way, is, is this a winner side match? And will with me in the commentary booth is no one else other than Tim de Reuter from from Holland. Hi Tim. Hi Mark. Uh, Marcus, <laughs> geez, oh, bad start. And we got Marcus Shamat here with me. Yeah, Marcus Shamat. Yeah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Yeah. There. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, so, what do you think about this? I think it's the match. Interesting or match. Um. Obviously, I think. Uh, on paper, Jasmine is the favorite, right? Yeah. Uh, but the paper always is not uh, not gonna write the right <laughs> script. Yeah, and also Jasmine has not been competing as much as she used to do, mm -hmm. compared to Pia, who is playing Everywhere. men's and women's <coughs> tournaments mm -hmm. and the com yeah the whole year through. Mm -hmm. So this could take. Yeah, some of Jasmine's favorite position away. Yeah, so these two ladies are, uh, I know, I've seen them play a lot. Obviously, Jasmine a lot. Pia, I know her well throughout from uh, from being the captain for Yosha in, in the Moscone Cup. Uh, I haven't seen her play a whole lot though, Pia lately. I can admit that, but obviously I've seen her play. Uh, she's going. She's been going deep in a lot of Euro Euro tournaments, winning or second place in the Euro Tour. Here's a look of Pia. Yeah, last Euro Tour in Bulgaria, she finished second, mm -hmm. and this was only couple weeks ago so mm. confidence is high right yeah so I guess uh, oh. uh, it's fair to say if she's finished second in the Euro it's fair to say this this could be a really close game then I would think because I like I like I like the player who's who's in form even if, even if it's, it's the you feel like on paper is the lesser player let's see what uh, Jasmine because I I commented her match earlier and it it felt like she was not exactly where she wanted to be in in her game, you know. Yeah. Obviously, it's early in the week, right? Yeah, as and well. And we yeah. we all know what she's capable of, of doing. So. Yeah, I think it's also. So it would. This will be a tester for her for sure. Yeah, I think it's imp important to Jasmine is that she can just get to that last 16, and then maybe like the, her confidence and her game will start growing as well from there. You can see this a lot. Usually, the p people that win the tournament, they actually like they played horrible in the first couple matches. It happens a lot of times, mm. and then they find their game. And, and this is a good shot there. Oh, the four is tied up. Yeah, that's why she played safe. Huh? Yeah, the four is I don't tied see up, and the six five was. I don't. Well, I don't see other reason why we're playing safe there. Yeah. True. Right? <laughs> yeah. No. Why don't you shoot the two in the side? And the three is over the pocket, you know, the because it's the four there or what? Tell me. Yeah, yeah, there must be. The four doesn't go. It doesn't go if you if you froze on the longer uh, on the long side rail. I don't think so. Oh, two rails. Okay. Little she lucky. Made contact. And a rail after. So we are playing a race to seven WPA rules, which means. We're playing alternate break and no early 10 balls. So, no. So, Jasmine, not only from Austria, but she's actually from Klagenfurt. Her and, and uh, Albin. So, they're not only it's the host country, it's the host city as well, which is a different kind of pressure. I had ho uh, tournaments in my city in Sweden. It's it's kind of a different mindset so to say you know you know everything about the city you know everything about the people around 
and sometimes he can uh, get to you and sometimes he can support you you know the pressure you put on yourself nice two ball from oh, pia long shot bumps the seven doesn't uh, want to tie okay. up the seven again that's okay it's okay <laughs> nice shot so i think in, uh, in by the look of the first few shots uh, Jasmine has made some questionable uh, choices, I think. I don't understand why she played safe on that two ball to begin with. Yeah, it's I, I, d I have yeah. no clue. I have no I really answer think the four to it. I have no go, answer to it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see so here. Getting on the five was always going to be the tricky part. Yeah. And especially now because she got straight on the four. Didn't really leave much angle, so... Maybe she can stun, still go in between the nine and the eight. Yep. Oh, she hit that firm. Too Little firm. Bit too fir yeah, too. So she needs to play a safety here. The correct path, but too hard. Yeah. Correct path in between the eight and nine. And interesting. She might be able to. Can she cut it in the side from there? Or? I think that's what maybe she was too looking narrow. for. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm cutting from the s to the side here. Also, if you look at where is she going to get positioned on the six. But she takes her time. They're playing with a 30 second shot clock. With also a extension per player per rack. Mm -hmm. Just one. She used one. She used her extension now. Make up her mind. It's good that she used it now, is it because this is kind of tricky. She called Make it in sure. the side. Oh, she called it in the side? Yeah. yeah. Maybe two-way safety. Okay, open five for Jasmine. Back at the table. So, what's the age difference between you and uh, Jasmine then? The age difference? Yeah. Well, I'm I mean, tw I'm 26 and she must be. Oh you can say it, I have no idea how old Jasmine is, but it must be 10 years, 12 years. No, she can't. What, what do you say? Is she 35? Something like no. that. Maybe. Is she? Really? Well, I have no idea how well, old she is. We have to look, up, look it up. I just know that the moment when I got to start playing the Euro Tour and the European Championships that she, she was wasn't really being that active. I forgot no how young you are now. <laughs> oh, when now we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or so young, youth. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like when younger players get into this game, they don't really get to know the players that were successful in the past. Which is sometimes quite sad mm. because they deserve the recognition. Okay, nice angle on the nine. Mm -hmm. We'll probably play two rails, just land on the left long rail. She can also choose to just draw one rail. With a lot of right spin. Like this. Watch out. Uh, she's okay. Good speed. Maybe a little high on the 10, but it's just makeable. It's okay. <laughs> and Jasmine Ocean takes the Go first the game. Home. The home crowd is... Jasmine Ocean, 36 1986 years. she's born, so that means she's 36. Yeah. So, so 10 years older than you. 10 years, not yeah. bad. World champion. She's accomplished a lot of uh, big titles throughout her uh, career. Yeah, and she won this event, the World Ten Ball Championship, in 2010. That's when I started playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Referee John Lehman from New York wrecking the Predator Arcus. Two balls with the Predator Arrow Wreck triangle. For Pia Filler to break in the second rack. Little st strange first game we had mm -hmm. with all those tight balls and safeties. And breaking from the side here. Pia Filler in the back there is Joshua. Boom boom, he's there watching his wife. Yeah, one thing I really Watch like. Watch out, the cube will might scratch. Yeah. One thing I really like about them is that they support each other. T yeah, always. Yeah. And they're always watching each other's matches as well. Like, mm -hmm. I could understand if Joshua would say like, "Well, I don't really want to watch more pool," you know. But they always there. Still, yeah. he's always there. Stick together to thick and there it is Joshua. Yeah. Boom boom or killer. What what was this? Killer filler. <laughs> killer filler, yeah. So let's see how Jasmine will solve this. The four is something to be cautious about. She can just go forward and get nice and straight on the four. Then besides that, it's a nice layout. Everything is quite connected. Just needs to connect the dots. Just a small draw shot on the four. And then work your way up till getting straight on the seven. And then from there, she should be okay. Also has a pretty nice rhythm. Has always had this little confident rhythm around the table. It's not a real slow player. Like so just check the angle and go. Can choose to play the cue ball in the center of the table for the seven or mm -hmm. maybe play a little more speed and shoot the seven in the side. Which I do like. Mm -hmm. This was the risk of choosing to go to the center of the table, the crossing the positional area. But I think she's still okay. She can probably just cut this in the side and draw the cue ball to the shore rail and back. Might also be able to cut the seven with a little left spin and go long rail, short rail, back up for the eight. one I think one of her biggest achievements playing the men's event was when she was third at the world uh, straight pool championships that was unbelievable beating, yeah. beating uh, well there's also in the men's I mean obviously she won a lot of women's event but for a while she w she was competing a lot in a lot of men's event as well Euro tours World Championships. Yeah, I do remember her. I think it was in this e in this venue that she reached her last 32 in the men's Euro Tour. Mm -hmm. Like, there's not many female players that have done that. I only know one, and that's Chen Siming from mm -hmm. China. So, quite a... Oh. oh! That's surprising. That wasn't even close. I think... Uh is she a little faster, maybe, or? Yeah, look, look at this. Do? It felt weird, you know, like she was just, yeah. she wasn't lined up uh, correctly. So opportunity for Pia. 
to he steal two this balls, game. Yeah. yeah. To go one each. Mm -hmm. The ten for one, one apiece. In this race, the seven on the winner's side. So, Jasmine have to f uh, shake that off because that was a mistake that you don't, you don't often see from a player in caliber of uh, Jasmine. Here's Pia. More calm than, than Joshua. Joshua is more... Uh <laughs> yeah. How, how do you say? Energetic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, we she's the w the calm in the family. I would well I would guess. We can also yeah, see that in their games. Yeah. Like she's a little more calm and checks everything really yeah. nice, and he's running around the table and shooting balls in like it's nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah he runs out like water. I mean, Speci unique talent he is, Joshua. He uh, he makes the game look so easy, and his talent is second to none. Well, and, and he's been proving. And it. he's someone that can raise the bar real high for Pia as well, because he could really like keep practicing till Pia mm -hmm. like beats him at one point. Like, so they're in a pretty good spot. Mm -hmm. And Jasmine a break broke really well from the center, but no good results. So change to the side. Again, nice squad of the cue ball. One ball is traveling. No. So, open shot for Pia, right? Yeah. And the two ball close. Just to get on the three, I think that would be key shot to two to the three. And from there, all the balls are kind of together. The Four, yeah, five, six, yeah, and this seven, eight, nine, I ten. think the key shot here is to, to get a good angle on the two yeah. to where you can come down table for the three. So PA is weighing her options here. Maybe play rail first. Tim, what do you think? Maybe rail first and come up and shoot the two in the same pocket as... Might be able to do that. Might also choose to shoot the two like this. in the... See? Nice. Just a little Perfect soft. Perfect speed. Yeah, a little bit more would be nicer. Yeah. yeah. She have to elevate or just come with, with, with some right English to where she's pointing right now, right? Yeah, Back and forth, two rails. She can play max right spin. But it's a thin cut, though. She can also jack up the cue. Uh, I like, right, I like the way she plays it instead of jacking up. This, this is better. Just make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I just agree. Just make sure. Yeah, she's good. Good, good shot. Now, you see the replay. Nice one. And good speed on this as well. As a nice I think angle. if Pia can take care of her uh, opportunity she gets, she can put a play. She can put a, a lot of pressure on um, Jasmine here in this match. Because the way she missed that nine ball was a sign for me that she's not feeling too comfortable at the table at the moment at least yeah Ob obviously that can change you know throughout but it yeah. was just weird to see yeah a yeah. player of her caliber miss miss the ball the by, the by, the a, by, a, by a diamond oh and and that kind of shot as well like so not much to say here it's pretty much in control Probably just floats this five ball in to shoot the six and come up to the other side of the table for the seven. So now I'd like to go two rails to leave a small angle to the outside to the right long rail, but can also end up on the other side of the seven to go two rails to the eight. Let's see, top left. Don't like to be too straight on the seven. That would cause some difficulties. Looks like she's got a small angle, might be able to play with top spin and top right to go forward and then come back up table for the eight and the 
top left, or, yeah, on, or bottom left corner. This view, the bottom left. Follow it. One way left. Maybe a middle little right. Table. Yeah. Like this, nice right spin and good shot. Like it. Would have liked to be straight on the eight, but should be able to roll this in. She's losing some using some left spin. Nice speed and nice cue ball. Just a small angle to run into the 10. But she can probably just play this soft. Hit the right edge of the 10. And just push it softly to the short rail. Drawing it. Or she's drawing the cue ball. Okay. For the 10 ball in the same corner pocket. Oh, she whoa, decided whoa, whoa, to put whoa, whoa. a big stroke on that. and mm, She's got a thin cut there on the 10, huh? Yeah, or the bank shot. Might the scratch in the side. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, or in the corner if she. I mean, there's a scratch there, no? If she cuts it. No. This is a, this no, is a no, big. No, no, it's not a scratch in the side. It's a scratch in the corner. In the corner, yeah. And so you gotta put some writing this so it's so it. No. Oh yeah, and it was a difficult cut. Uh. We've seen. Just oh, it skidded. You see. Yeah, it grabbed it's a little yeah, bit it's off it's the Yeah, it's a skid on the 10. So this 10 ball for Jasmine Ocean to take the lead again to 1 after she missed the 9 ball in the last game. No scratch here if she makes no. it. No. Oh. She Some early it. mistakes here from both of the girls. Staying calm still. Not showing any give up. That's good. It's still early in the match. Mm -hmm. Back and forth here. We don't really know what's going to happen. It feels like. Uh, it feels like we don't. Uh, we have no clue. Now it goes. I mean, the signs it's quite unexpected. Yeah, what's it's going unexpected on right now. mistake. Yeah. And Jasmine lets be out of the hook a little bit because she missed the nine, and then now the stem ball. So I don't know what is going on here. You see a replay. Surely a, a make will shut Was she scared of scratching? I, d I don't know why. Like, she can play pocket speed, big pocket, and yeah. So here's a good view, the, the black eight ball. That's where people steal the ball from the pool halls. Because it's a famous ball, the black eight ball. Yeah. I had pool rooms, and so all of a sudden, when you give up the balls, the eight ball is missing. They steal it and take it home <laughs> like a souvenir. Okay, <laughs> nice square hit. Almost made the one. But hit it a so little bit too much to the inside. That's why it didn't go. And a chance for Jasmine Ocean. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more play to it with this kind of format, with the, with the break and everything. I mean, normally with that kind of mistake, Jasmine did. Let's say if you would have played nine ball with a tap table or, or uh, with a magic rack, uh, there would have been huge uh, difference yeah, instead yeah. of having, you know, a chance back at the table. With that kind of format, you sh you're gonna be guaranteed a ball on the break. Pia would would uh, have a opportunity at the table for sure. And now all of a sudden, Jasmine is uh, back at the table. So let's see what she's going to do. Yeah, it takes a more skilled break, in my opinion, to make a ball on the break in this format. Ten ball, hand wrecked. 
Oh. Oh. Try to go around yeah, the eight. Good, and good shot, but she got unlucky, I think. Yeah, I don't that think she, she can she, hit yeah, this she two. Yeah. I think there was a good shot. She was trying to get it one, two, three rails around and make the, the two in the corner. But now the three ball is blocking her path in order for her to, to be able to make it, the two ball. She calls it inside, huh? Yeah, two rails hitting it in front of the side. A lot of spin. Okay, where is that cue winding up? Does he get behind the four? I think it does. Yeah. And I expect Pia to get the jump cue out if she can reach it because the cue ball kind of moved to the center, well, to the middle of the table more. You see, it does call more to the four ball. Stuck her hand up. I'm sorry, she said. Ten seconds. Let's see if she can make this and get the cue ball on the other long rail. Close. Good effort. And the Watch out. Behind the cue seven. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> she got lucky back. First, the Jasmine got lucky, and then Pia got lucky. Because obviously you're not playing with kind of safety, right? But that's what this game gives you sometimes. Sometimes the balls roll to you, for you, and sometimes against you. It's a pretty doable kick shot here. Again, two rails. Hitting the back. I would have liked to hit the right side a little bit more, sending it mm -hmm. towards the side pocket. And it's an open shot there for Pia. The two ball goes inside, huh? Yeah, they've been battling oh, for... But it's not laying easy, this out. Yeah, they've been battling for that first chance. But then, yeah, the five ball only goes in the side, and it's tough to get there. So, let's see how Pia solves this. Yeah, if she gets a good angle on this four, it's, it's really, the five goes in the side pocket, so it should be able to come underneath the ten. But it's just a matter of, she, can she get that angle, or? Yeah. I mean, it's laying close to the side pocket there. Yeah, you don't want to catch the point. the point. Yeah. She'll follow it, I would think. Maybe, Maybe she, she can, can break open it. the yeah. five. I do like that. Oh, she oh, hits the point, yeah. She got the point, and now... She might even have hooked herself. I think she did. Go get the jump cue. And well, I'm not sure if I would jump this. No. No, because like, what if you make it? I'm not sure if I can get on the five to the no, side. No, no. She so probably wants to use the look. Okay, she playing the the bank. Yeah. So she's not opting to just make it. And she can still. This is a nice two-way shot. If she makes it and gets on the five to the side. Oh, the cue ball. Playing with pace, leaving distance, right? That's yeah. what you're probably were looking for. And the four ball just yeah. rolled to that short rail. So this is a really difficult shot. Or at least I think this is a difficult leave for Jasmine. Especially with that cue ball hanging in the pocket. Ten seconds. That's 10 seconds, called the extension. And what do you play here? This is tough. Thin on the right side. Huh? <laughs> that's, that's all you. Yeah, what yeah, what no, else are you gonna do? I think that's the only <laughs> option. But Thin, it's yeah. Super Bring tough. the cue ball back to the that where the cue ball is now, that side of the table. Like this. Well yeah, it's tough. To the other side, but it's so tough yeah, to do yeah. that. Yeah, that was. You can't blame her for 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 trying. For, yeah, yeah, I mean she's. But it's so the distance is long, and the cue ball on the rail playing maybe a little spin, a lot of. So Pia back at the table, five is in a tricky position. I mean, obviously she can make the four, but is it worth it for her pocketing it and not leaving yourself nothing? No. Or she can choose to go three rails around. Her name is Filler, but not Joshua Filler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so she's playing yeah. safe on the five. Yeah, this is a good shot. Look at this. Oh. Wow, nice choice. Look at this cue ball as Beautiful. well. Beautiful. Beautiful choice there from her. I think. Yeah. This is uh, percentage-wise. 
a lot better choice. So. Good hit. Living long distance. See? The four is makeable, but the problem here is the cube ball is going to run into the nine if she makes it. That, that means she will not be able to get position for the five, which is on the other side of the table. So, but she would see what she, what kind of options it is. You know, time is running down. You only have 30 seconds to shoot. Seven, six, five, three, two. Oh, oh. last second. And Safety I do like this mind. if she oh. doesn't scratch. Maybe get behind the five. No. no. Is jumping bean Mark White? <laughs> he had a word with <laughs> Kelly out of the match. He was all over the place. He was running around like a Mickey Mouse here when <laughs> Kelly was playing. He didn't know what was going on. The pitched. So I did like what Pia was going for the thin hit. Didn't get there though, and now Cuba's coming so down. Maybe a nice bump on the fire. Yeah. And uh, Awkward positions here and there. Sometimes the balls roll for you and with you, and sometimes they're not. This is definitely what, not where she wanted to be. <coughs> Safety at all from Jasmine. She's a good all round player. Definitely she knows what she's gonna do, like relieve distance or safety, as long as she owns the table. Where she yeah, safety there. Leaving difficult position for Pia. Yeah, left some distance, but maybe would have liked to have the cue ball frozen to that top rail just to make it a little tougher. Okay, the Ooh, six, it's nice, a nice one. shot. He has made some good safety shots this match so far. Yeah, I'm some impressed. good cue ball work. Yeah. You know, she, she played at the, the couple of really nice safeties. This looks easy, but believe me. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a tough shot. Because you have to, you really have to be accurate of your, of your point where you hit the five. So kick shot here for Jasmine. Yeah, it's going two rails. Two rails. To get the cue ball back up. Two. Oh, almost. nice hit. Played it two rolls mm -hmm. just because of this oh, as a backup. She's on top of that 10. If she played one roll, this safety. There's Thorsten Holman as well <laughs> next to Joshua. Hitman. Yeah, <laughs> Germany has a strong team also for the World Team Championship. Yeah. Which will continue this evening. How's, the ho how's your team doing, Holland? They Still lost in? against uh, Slovakia in mm. the sudden death shootout. But then after they beat Costa Rica 3-0, mm -hmm. so they're still there's in There's Joshua and there's Holman. Team Germany and Team Canada, Obviously just in front of them. Holman in the Hall of Fame. Joshua always, sooner or later, going to be in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, he's on his way for the Hall of Fame, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's for sure. He's been tearing up the, the pool scene since 2017, 16. That's when he started to win Euro Tour and Euro, right? Yeah, became world champion, became US Open champion, became Moscone Cup champion, became. <laughs> yeah. This goes on and on and on. Yeah, yeah, too much to list almost. And this was a good safety shot yeah. from Jasmine. Both balls really well placed. So you is a maybe right at the five or you come on in the. No, I like two rails, two rails and hit the inside. She got it. Straight up. Yeah, it's good. Well, this worked out for her. <laughs> nice. But I foresee another nice safety shot coming up on this. I don't think she might call the nine ball just in case, but I'm sure she's not wanting to make it. She called it. She hits this thin, the five on the nine. The five will stay there and she can get the cue ball all the way down table.
Oh, she made did a combo. she uh, attack on this? She call it? She did call it. Yeah. If, uh, Still at I the table, that's good, right? And if I look at the cue ball, she was trying to play the safety there. Because this is... Open shot. Long and on the rail. Open shot. No? No. Oh, okay. She is t hooked. But she can play a safety. Or yeah. she have to play a safety, right? I don't think she's going to cut it in the no. upper left, no. No, I like the safety. <laughs> she's banking the five ball over with just stop spin. Leaving distance. Short roll, short roll. Oh, she hit this quite firm. This might be a shot for Pia. Maybe just because of the time. She only had yeah. five seconds left. Yeah, you, you need to uh, think quick, especially the safeties. Right? Yeah. You have to be real quick, What we make up your mind what you're going to do. See the shot quickly, like, you know, like... One player who is really good at it is uh, Tony Drago. He sees his uh, Joshua Filler. There's yeah. another one that sees really the shots immediately. Yeah, I remember they played this match in Germany. It was an exhibition match. Oh, this looks like... Ah, she's oh. okay. It was an exhibition match and they played like a <laughs> 10 second or 15 second shot clock. Okay. And they were like running around the table and running out and people were so amazed because you don't really get to see that very often. Mm -hmm. Both play so fast. Ten seconds. Ooh. Oh! Is I expected. Yeah. She got perfect on the seven ball. She got straight on the seven. Just missed it. If she would have made it, she would have been perfect on the seven. Perfect on the seven. Unfortunately, she missed the pot. Gotta make sure you make the ball right. Seven inside goes, yeah. I guess. Good Where speed. So we're looking at two apiece in this race to seven, winner side match. Yeah, and it I'm goes right. Yeah, as far as I, it looks <laughs> like it goes. But I mean, otherwise she wouldn't play position with it there, yeah. would she? No, I'm pretty sure yeah. it goes. She can just stop the cue ball for the eight and. Uh, Bottom right corner. Nice. Oh. Maybe a little bit more angle than she expected, but it's okay. And I'm pretty sure Jasmine was quite disappointed that she was 2-1 down. After, well, missing a 9 ball, missing Wonder a 10 ball. Wonder if she's going to draw it or come on. Uh, no, I think she's going forward, forward for the 10 in the side. Two rails? Or just no, roll. just like this. Or the 10 in the corner, either way. And this Temple to draw two each. And it goes in. Jasmine Ocean. Ties the score two to two. And looks like we might have a tight match here. This could go all the way. And the Pro Period Series has a pretty busy period ahead with three more US Pro Period Series events in Michigan, Ohio, and Puerto Rico. And two more World Championships are also coming up soon with the World 8 Ball Championships and the World Junior Championships in Puerto Rico this November as it's part of the Caribbean Q Sports International Export Expo. So a busy period coming here. You see a nice view of Jasmine's case. And let's go back to the match. Jasmine breaking here from the side again. It's a pretty powerful break. Okay, quite good. Just cut that one ball a little bit too much again. She's not hitting him square and no ball goes in. You see it again, the cue ball jumped to the side. And the seven got close, but no cigar. 
Might have a nice safety shot here. She can bank the one ball over to the left long rail. And move the cue ball two rails between the 10 and the 4. She can also choose to play a long distance safety. She played the first option, but pretty soft. And might be in trouble after this, Pia. Filler. After Jasmine will stick cue ball maybe behind the 2, maybe behind the 10. Crawl behind the 10, but it's too soft. Maybe second prize with that 9 ball. But this will be an easy hit. Pia can always masse around the 9. Or play it short rail first. But where is he leaving the 1? Maybe kick it soft towards the 7. Tie them up. She could see a lot more and was trying to get the cue all the way back. And might have left a shot for Jasmine. No, there's a jump shot. Maybe a big jump draw. <laughs> or, is, or am I a little bit too optimistic <laughs> here, Marcus? Jump draw, yeah. That would be an amazing shot if she does that. If, even if she makes it, it makes amazing shot. Well, she tried she to tried put the draw yeah. on it, but you call it the right and correct shot. What she was trying. And now the one ball did go all around the table, not hitting any other ball. View here, small pocket for the one. Decided to place. Oh, the cut shot on the side. Yeah, I was not sure if she could hold the cue ball that nicely to mm -hmm. after the cut in the side, but she always was going to see the two. Beautiful. Let's see what she's going to do if try to play safety, huh? Yeah, I think so. Just put both balls at distance. But I think she was trying to get behind the 10-4 and she left another chance for Jasmine. And this one is more costly than the first one. Mm -hmm. Just because it's guaranteed to be on the 3. And she can already work out a nice angle from here. Just to travel from the 4 to the 5, I would say that it's quite difficult in this rack. Ooh. That wiped his feet. I wonder if she have an angle here to come down to the 4. Yeah, I think it she looks can use from the this camera view, it's kind of hard to see. If she's got an angle, she wants to come one rail up or, you know, two, maybe here, yeah. But Follow it, two rails, huh? But wants to be on the left side of the one, four. two. Watch out for the side pocket. Like she doesn't want to be no, it's tough having to an angle to towards yeah. the ten. The five is all the way on the other side of the table. This requires a lot of cue power. Yeah, I guess you got to get support from the ten, drawing it. Following it, well it's not you're never gonna come down. Maybe with a big stroke and a lot of spin, maybe you can get there, but this is extremely tough. She jacks up. No, so she's make sure she made it and then being able to play a safety, I guess. Or was she banking? There's this? no real bank, is it? No. Well, there is the a eight there's always a bank, but I don't think. That it's a good shot. If she banks it to the left as well, like I don't think there is a lot of reason to do all that. It's too risky. Let's see what she's gonna what she's gonna do.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was tricky to get behind. So a long five ball here for Pia. Opportunity. Good opportunity, I think. Yeah, so a race to seven. WPA rules, so that means no early 10 balls in this match, in this World 10 Ball Second. Women Championship. And nice shot from Pia. Needs to figure out how she wants to get on the 7. Might just roll in the 6 for the short side of the 7. Don't think she can just draw past it for the same no. bucket. Too much angle, you think? I think so. Okay. Looks like she's got too much angle. Good position, nice angle on the seven to just roll off the rail. Just make the shot with some top spin. Oh. She decided to stun the cue ball, which left her a little longer compared to if she played with some top spin. draw shot there left herself the perfect angle on the nine ball to travel to the ten forward to take the lead again Pia Feller from Germany goes up 3-2 against the Austrian local Jasmine Ocean close match here for both players Jasmine hasn't been playing all the events Pia has but Jasmine has all the experience and of course a big resume you will see referee John Lehman wrecking Prado Arcus two balls. I like the reflection of the arena lights in them as well. You can really see the formation of the lights, how they set them up in the reflection. Looking great. Everything has been great here this week. It'd be a filler to break. with a lot of spin that's why you don't see that many balls moving it took away a the lot one of goes impact and well I guess it worked out for her but usually when you see people break with that much spin then not a lot of balls move the two is laying over the side bucket and the three and the four mm -hmm. so the layout did work out pretty well for not hitting the cue ball as she wanted on the break. And I think if she can get nicely from the 5 to the 6, I think that's the key shot in this game. Yeah, you don't hook yourself behind the six or something stupid here. Mm. 
might choose to just roll this in with some inside and go three rails from the five to the six. Left herself a little more angle than I would have expected, mm -hmm. which makes the going around the three wheels shorter. She's cutting the ball more. Still with a lot of spin, she could get straight. Quite firm though. Watch Ooh. out. Oh, barely. Just stopped right in time. Right on time. And I think it got perfect as well. She can mm -hmm. float this in. Go two rails for the seven in the side. So just in time there. Photographer Vincent Rush for taking some nice picks. Probably of Joshua and Thorsten. Chose to play it around the seven. Nicely done. And this is a pretty big run out, actually, because it puts the first two game difference on the board for Pia. Playing with the nice Predator Sang Lee Q. And it looks like she's getting in their little groove here. Mm -hmm. Maybe hitting a gear soon. Forty-two filler. <laughs> and all of a sudden she's the favorite to win this match, I feel like. So time out by Jasmine. Tell the referee, uh, John Lehman. Two minute break for us. We'll be right back. So we're back here in Klagenfurt, Austria for the Women's World Temple Championships brought to you by Predator. 
Going through tables, balls. They are putting on this great events here in Austria. At the same time, we have the World Team Championships, who's going to be played tonight. A couple rounds tonight, big matches coming up. One big match is, I know it's on the TV table, it's going to be Team Philippines versus Team Great Britain. And it's all superstars there. Yeah, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> Great match, yeah. yeah. Can't wait. I'll be in the booth again with Mark White, so it's going to be great. He'll mm. be for England. Now yeah. I told <laughs> you I was rooting for the Philippines, <laughs> so <laughs> they picked great. So Jasmine down two. Two games to four. Again, another thin contact. Mm -hmm. Very good break. A lot of spin as well, and no ball. She can get that ball to go on the break. Nothing. And uh, Pia have the option. I mean, the, the she owns the table, so to say. She have the first shot. Nothing easy. But at least she can make. Uh, a safety or trying to play the yeah nice shot covering by the three good cue ball played a little right spin on yeah. that to make sure it stayed behind the three It's a nice hit there. <coughs> but left it. She left shot in the side for Pia. And I think Pia, if she can manage to make this in the side and get a good position for the two. Yeah, I think she can go two rails. It's natural, but the, the only problem is if you don't make it, you might be in trouble scratching or. Hit that part from the cue ball. She's gonna be fine though. Look at this. A little bump Not on the yet. floor, and that worked out great for her. Maybe can play a little stun shot for the three and then move the cue ball to the short side of the four. Little draw maybe on this to get just above the eight. Oh, she stunned it. Good speed. A little short maybe. Yeah, left she, would she would like to be a little bit further, further up in the table. <coughs> Yeah, might st it's still okay to hold the cube on the short side. I don't like to go to the other side of the four on this. Oh. Watch out. Watch out. Ah. That's not good. Yes, I don't think she put any left spin on that. Mm -hmm. She played some left. She could have maybe hold it yeah. held the cue ball a little better. You're right. And we'll probably oh she looks like she's shooting at this. Check it up. Trying to avoid the foul. Nice. Okay. Wow. Watch out. What is she leaving? I think it still goes. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. That, was, good that was a good shot. Yeah. It, it looked easy, but that that's a really tough shot, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, uh -huh. so tough, especially yeah. being jacked up yeah, and, and then with so close to see how full you're hitting the ball. No. Bridging over the 10. ten nice view. 
Ooh. Oh, and she put quite some inside she on that. Up, she got up on that shot. You could see when the cue ball left, you could see it already had a lot of spin on there. Yeah, she was bridging over the the tumble there with the hand, so made it tougher. Ten seconds. Jasmine to the table. Pia did all the hard work in this rack. Just needs to stay in line. Stun this. Little left spin. Stun forward left. That's how I always feel. Like this. Now shooting the same shot, stun a little left. Just has to miss it. Little bump, but still okay. She can go forward with some right to the short rail. Beautiful. And this stand ball close the gap a little bit Pia Fell is still leading 4-3 but after Jasmine's timeout she comes back and takes the first game 4-3 mm -hmm. favor of Miss Filler Pia Filler and Jasmine Ocean. Drinking apple juice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they have all these flavored waters here. Yeah, she. Pia had that um, opportunity there to really take the, a good cushion. It would have been 5 2, instead it's 5 4 3. There's the water, the zooming in. Yeah. And the, the magic drink. <laughs> the, the apple juice <laughs> on the right and the magic water the on the left. extensions. <laughs> <laughs> it's all lined up there. Extension on the cues. So Pia breaking from the side. Last time had a lot of spin on there. But managed to make one ball. Again, a lot of spin on that cue ball. It just reduces so much mm. speed on the balls. Safety. Sa no ball on the break, but there's no open shot. So I expect the push out here. Maybe banking over the one and leaving the cue ball in the bottom mm -hmm. left corner with the 10. Leaving a cut shot on the one or maybe pressing the two to the real to, uh, close to the nine. Mm -hmm. No, something else. Try to push the seven and nine together. Yeah, uh, almost. But almost what doesn't if count. The one cuts it from here. For sure, he's, she's gonna take this on no matter what, either safety or, or a cut. No, uh, it isn't cut, does it? She'll play safety. I don't think she doesn't cut. She plays safety. Yeah. 
Thorsten Homan, Joshua Filler, and the Canadians enjoying the game this week in Austria. Yeah, what do you play here? Took a timeout, maybe just soft, leaving the one behind the seven, and uh, she went for distance. Could have played to get behind the ten. I think mm -hmm. that's what she was trying, but made sure that the one ball was not going to leak out. Difficult, bridging over the 10. And yeah, the nice. cue ball all the way down to the end. Nice two-way shot. Yeah. Good cue ball. Jumping with mm -hmm. the full jump cue. Wow. Whoa. What a shot from Pia. She jumped is running around. Including shape. Look at this position on the two ball. Very nice jump there. Played with draw two. Draw two rails. Still difficult, can only go a little bit towards the nine and that would result in having a difficult angle on the three mm -hmm. to go to the four. The only way she can get a nice angle on the three is if she banks the two ball and rolls the mm -hmm. cue ball a little forward. She's going into the... She wanted to bump it, I think. The nine. And now, can she maybe go for the three and stun off the six ball with right spin to still get on the four? Mm -hmm. she's, she's playing a low, low shot, so a draw shot. Nice. Oh, one. wow. Beautiful shot. Another there. great shot. Really big stroke to avoid the kiss on the six. Decided to leave herself on the rail for this five. I don't like to play all this soft touchy when I'm on the rail, so mm -hmm. I probably will mm -hmm. go forward for the six in the side pocket in the bottom side on this view. Drawing it to the try to get close to the long left long rail. Ten seconds. In the cue ball. Oh, she missed it. Too bad. What a nice run that it would have been if she would have run out there. Yep. Because it was uh, that was a tough out. And again, yeah. like she had the opportunity to go five two up. And now she had the opportunity to go 5-3, and it seems like she just can't really But the 7 finish. is laying kind of tricky. She needs to get really good on this in order for her to have an easy position.
position for the eight. So oh, she can either draw this one rail, two rail, or or come, you know, around the angles, around yeah. three, yeah. Well, what I do like is in, ca in case you do not get nicely on the seven, there's always a safety behind the nine ball, which is a little backup. Of course, you want to run out here, but one, two, oh, gee, that's perfect. Long. It's gonna land great. Does not want to get too Almost far? Almost three. Because she doesn't doesn't want to get a little blocked by the nine. But I think if she can just make this with top spin. It will be just okay. She doesn't need any spin on this. Or stun. Oh. I thought she's gonna follow it. Huh? If you would have had that angle, you think you would have I, I, I like to go fo forward, Fo forward always. Yeah, yeah. I play a lot of forward. Yeah. And but it's different. Everybody likes different kind of shape. It's not the wrong shot here, you know coming out but she has missed it <laughs> you know yeah well she has missed it it wasn't the well wrong also I she mean missed it on the long rail yeah. maybe the nine ball was blocking just oh, a little bit and oh this so is this could have been a lot better she for hit sure. that way she too th way too thick you know the closer you always get to your next shot the easier the shot gets mm -hmm. it's just a fact and this eight ball Big shot. Oh. And slowly I can feel there's c some pressure coming up. Mm -hmm. Like Pia is a little lost here. And doesn't know how to finish the games anymore. And Jasmine is also quite struggling. It's hard to see who's going to take this off. I feel like if Pia takes up, mm, takes her uh, opportunity that she gets, she's gonna win, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, she gets all because the opportunities. Because Jasmine yeah. doesn't have her end game at the moment, but if Jasmine can find her A game, uh oh, she tried to run into the nine ball. And yeah, just make it right and leave yourself long on the ten, or she's gonna try to draw it. No, I will go <laughs> three rails. Just three rails? Yeah, just forward, get to the other side, and take a long cut mm -hmm. shot on the ten. Not draw, no. Follow. Yeah, I like follow, right. Ten seconds. Oh, oh. She really tried to go all around This is going to be table. like a bank or not even a bank. Is it going to or a side pocket? Oh, well. I mean, you only have to just goes. roll it in. If you can just roll it in, I'll take a tougher 10 ball after being back and forth all the time. Let's see if we can get a good angle if it goes nicely in the side. Oh, this is oh. tough. Not too sure about this. It's hard to see from this angle how, how, how narrow it is. Huh? This one, she's shooting. Oh, she only had three seconds left and... Oh, no. Oh, this is bad news for Pia Filler. I'm pretty sure Jasmine will make this. There is some frustration there. <laughs> she is not happy. And I don't blame her. Just a three wheel shot here. Stun left. So four apiece. Who would have expected that? Jasmine should have been 3-0 up in the beginning, then Pia should have been 5-2 up. And we're back to 4 each, and Pia wants to leave the arena and take a timeout. She wants to regroup after a couple big mistakes. And we're going to regroup ourselves too <laughs> for a small <laughs> break. Okay.
and so we are back here in Klagenfurt at the sport park in Austria and we're just waiting for Pia Filler to come back from her timeout left the arena for a little bit after she made a couple very nervy mistakes whereas in the middle she was making great shots and looking very good. You can see Jasmine Ocean still patiently waiting. And the other TV table. You can see Bojana Saraj from Serbia playing against Claudia van Roor from Switzerland. So a nice view of the arenas. Here she is, Pia Feller from Germany. Made a mental reset. A big reset, hopefully. To go on. It's a race to three here. They're playing race to seven. WPA rules and no early 10 balls. 10 ball has to be the last ball. I guess you're going to favor uh, Jasmine from here. If she can get her game together, right? Yeah, especially uh, by the look of this match, yeah. She should have been down 5-2, to two yeah. and if you get back 4-4, four to four, I would call you a favorite. Oh, a nice squad. Now we get some nice squad and a bunch of balls moving in again. No ball on the break. We see again. All the energy comes out of her toes almost. <laughs> That's what it looks like and no shot on the one so a push out here push out called by Pia Filler maybe just push the nine ball with the seven and the six or no she just wants to leave a small look on the one and distance. Mm -mm -mm. So Pia, I wonder what happened when you went to the bathroom. Did you? Talk to yourself, make sure you s take it easy, and if you get opportunity, take it. If you did, and you succeed, Ten seconds. I think you can win this match. Sometimes it makes magic, you know, just taking, just walk away from the table, right? Regroup. Yeah, yeah just, just a little moment where you don't think about the shots you've yeah. missed or the opportunities you had. Yeah. So probably a safety, I would think, that that 1-5 is, is a really tough combination. Yeah, might be able to play with left spin. The 1 behind the 2 and the cue ball behind enough. the 9. She's going to leave a shot. Yeah, it's too Pia. soft. The cue ball had a nice route. So Pia with an open 1 ball is, is long, but... Makeable for sure, it's just a matter of position, I think. You have to draw it Ten seconds. two rolls out, minimum, maybe three. Nice. Makes it. Nice bump on the four mm -hmm. to work to the two and gets the ideal angle to move to the three. Mm -hmm. But now, let's see. I think the six ball does go in the top right corner, which would be nice. Otherwise, the she still has to develop something. Ten seconds. Oh, there's a fly on the table. <laughs> Don't run Cube it will almost hit the don't fly. Don't run it over. 
Let's see if you can zoom in on the fly there. Look at it. <laughs> it's he like doesn't know what's going on. Hey, play with me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Your layman is there. John asking, was it on the cue ball? Do you want to have it cleaned? <laughs> Pia said, no. So a little jaw shot in and out, using one rail to the center of the table. Like this, nice angle to go to the five. And now let's figure out if that six ball goes. That's what I have been wondering about. So it looks like the six ball goes. Or she's playing safe here. It's either one of them. I think it looks like it goes. Mm -hmm. And it goes just a little soft, low right. Oh, didn't put that much right on it. Makes it a little bit more flat. It's okay. She can cut this and travel to the eight. Can either go straight down or just use some little left. I like to go a little left and use the short reel as a landing spot like this played it well mm -hmm. i think she Beautiful. left herself a little more angle than she would have wanted these three balls in order for pia to go ahead Five to four in this match. Yeah, she's fine. Nice and easy. And a natural angle to go two rails to the ten ball. One or two. I usually like to put a little running spin on this. A little right to go two rails. Nice one. This stem ball to take the lead again. Five or four. Down goes the ten. Germany's and she's ahead five to four. Germany's PF filler up five to four indeed and took her a while to take that first game again. Mm -hmm. She was up four to two. Really focused always. Yeah, starting trying to stay calm. Take the opportunity once you get it. Yeah, and this match is to reach the last sixteen. Mm -hmm. This is a winner's qualification match. And the winner of this is guaranteed. 4,000 euros mm -hmm. and has an even better shot at getting the first place, which is 30,000 euros. It's good money for a week. For yeah, a week. For and just a week, <laughs> yeah. And winning the World Championship, but it's not easy. Of course, it's long days and hard work and a lot of preparation at home, but there's a lot of value to it. A lot of spin on the cue ball nothing, again. Huh? Nope. Keeps breaking with a lot of spin. But again, no look on the one. 
which has happened a bunch of times already. A lot of push outs. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> put put your opponent under uh, pressure. I mean, you know, like uh, a, a spot where she can't uh, really dominate the, the table. She likes to push down the rail. Option goes back to Pia. What is she gonna do? Give it back or? Yeah, she gave it back to Jasmine. Obviously, this is a big rack here. Either Pia is gonna be on the hill, six to four, or Jasmine is gonna tie this match up at five apiece. Big swings, no matter what. Ten seconds. Distance, probably. Oh. Oh, and lucky, lucky, lucky. Very lucky there. Lucky, lucky, like your friend says. <laughs> yeah, lucky, <laughs> lucky. I got lucky. I got very lucky. Yeah, well, we can laugh about it, but I'm pretty sure Pia is not smiling. And this is tough. She's just kicking one rail here. I don't think she can go either two or three rails. So just one. If she hits right side and quite some good stuff that can happen like this nice shot very good hit and especially good speed so got the one and the 4 eight nice. and the three ball is blocking the kick shot from the bottom long rail here and I'm not sure if she can use the other long rail maybe two rails yes, call the corner pocket looking for a thin contact so one two Ten seconds. like this no nope. She made the 10 ball, which comes back, of course. And ball in hand for Jasmine to draw the score again. Play the short side of the two, and we're getting towards the point where Jasmine needs to figure out what is going to happen with that four, as I don't think the four ball goes in any pocket. Well, it does go in the side, but it's just too tough to get there, especially with the shape she has on the two. She can go forward just just in front of the side pocket. She might just have enough angle. She can also choose to just make this, roll the three ball in and play a safety on the four. So it's a stick here behind the eight. Yep. I think it would be. I wonder how she's gonna. 
play, play this. If she can four ball. Leave the four ball maybe a little behind the six. Well, quite no, firm. I think she was trying to follow the cue ball. Mm. A little bit more. But I, th I think it's good. I don't think Pia can use it short rail. And she can, but she's got to spin it with a lot of right English. By the look of it. Nice. Yeah, nice hit and separation. Distance, yeah. But she has left a shot on. Not an easy one as the cue ball is running towards the five. Mm -hmm. Maybe she can play the bump on the five and try to get lucky. Otherwise, she has to draw the cue ball in and out. Big just draw. Just make it. I mean, not just, but I mean, just try to make it, I guess. You're playing draw well, she's here, drawing, big draw. She's drawing yeah, big kick. draw. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice cue ball. It's a big shot. I wonder if she's straight on this. I think she has something to work with. Doesn't have to go far. Just some top right and shoot the six in the bottom right corner. Would be just good enough. this good speed perfect play the angles has the angle to go by stun I think it's gonna be hill hill this match six apiece yeah it has I mean <laughs> looked like it's <laughs> all from the potential, beginning right? <laughs> all potential yeah. oh, she's cutting to the side likes to travel a little bit more and good speed as well So now needs to set up nicely, build up to that nine ball to be able to move over for the ten. And then it's five each. Nice. Yeah, just stun left. Doesn't have to draw, just stun with some left. And smooth stroke. Nice one. She let the stroke out there. Okay, five apiece if she makes this. And you figure her to make it. Here in Klagenfurt of the world. Humble Women's Championships, the Predator. Yeah, very back and forth this match. Jasmine being up, and then Pia being up, <laughs> and then back and forth, back and forth every game. Mm -hmm. Very And difficult to make balls in the breaks. It's a lot of play. Every every rack is, you know, options for both players to play a good safety or a good kick or even sometimes have an open shot and run out. Yeah, a lot of push outs in this match. Jon Lehman, all the way from New York. New York, New York. Amsterdam Billiards, where he's... He's running a league there. The leagues, heard, yeah. yeah. Him and Thorsden are in, uh, that's where they, they uh, spend their most of their days at the Amsterdam Billiards. 
So Jasmine, I think she switched side. Try something different. Okay, nice cue ball, and Four. finally she made a ball. Look and a the shot one in Look front of the bucket. Look at this. No real problem. Not the easiest of a rack, but at least she possible. makes a ball and uh, has position. You expect the world champion to make it at least, right? Yeah. Especially when it's a tight match, all that, all those big matches, big tournaments she played, give her experience to keep it all together and try to get all over that finish line. Now, so one way over here, what, what uh, she's gonna do if she's gonna come up and shoot the three in the corner or swing the cue ball around three rails? Yeah, I like three huh? rails. Because come around and shoot the three in the side, huh? Yeah, or if you end up too short, you got the corner. two bottom corners. You, you have so you don't want to come in between uh, the, the five and the six, like so. No, that's okay. no, I don't like that. It's just even though if you go three wheels and you hit it soft, you can still shoot the three mm -hmm. in the bottom left. Yeah. If you overrun a little bit more, you have it in the corner. And if you get perfect on the side, then you can't complain. She's weighing her options here. There's a couple of different ones. Preference. Everybody likes different kind of here. You know, when it's... She's playing high, so maybe two wheels or one, two. Oh. She didn't use too much English though. 50 odd, yeah. I think she didn't make up her mind there. The way she hit it. Yeah. She needed she a lot not more a spin not enough to come spin, around. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and the pace was off. Still, she has a shot on the three to the bottom right. And if she wants, she can bump the nine ball. Just softly. No. Oh. She got the fortune though, she didn't leave much. Not an easy shot. Yeah, I think she missed it on the thick side because she was trying not to run into. Let's see if she's gonna try nine. to put the cube behind the 10 here, Pia. And shoot the three up table. Or even cut it. I doubt that she's gonna try to cut it though. I think it is a safety all over. Can she hit the right side of the three and get the cue ball behind the eight, six, seven, nine? No, she was trying behind the fence. Oh, oh, disaster. And this is <laughs> also something. If you try to bang the ball on the points, you will not get it done. And then when you don't... And then when you don't need it, it happens. Yeah. Nice to see some people gathering around the stage. Ten seconds. As the score is slowly going towards a hill hill match this is a good shot nice speed probably it's going forward she's checking mm. it going forward maybe one or two rails to position herself nicely for the six in the bottom left corner There's no left spin on that. Does it go I to the bottom right corner? I don't know what happened. I don't know what she was, was she trying to shoot shoot it like you call it the two rails? And yeah, then shoot the, the, the six in the corner or was yeah. she trying to come up for the side pocket? Well she did tap the I'm table sure. there. I'm not sure. No, I She's have no playing idea. safety, huh? Behind the yeah, eight. Behind the eight, yeah. She's got three balls to be behind. That's nice. This is a good shot. And the pressure is on Pia here. Mm -hmm. Because of course... You need to make a contact here, otherwise this game is... Yeah, and also... Obviously, but then still, if you are the player that gets on the hill first, you can still settle down. You got two games to finish it off. 
So any mistake is costly in this end phase of the match. No. It was tough, tough hit, not easy. Oh, it's a little short again, so she's not making it uh, easy for herself. It's just, of course, she can play the stop, and yes, she can cut that eight, but you just don't want to have all these crazy angles going on all the time. <laughs> it's a long eight ball. She rolls this in, just float it in. The nine ball will go in the side or in the bottom left corner. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to go all draw or left. She's playing stun, though. Oh. Does she get lucky? Does it stay on the short rail? There is Pe a cut shot for Yeah, Pia. it is cuttable. She, this is not so easy. Reaching for the extension. Pia run to the table, to her table where the extension is. And there's two shots. She can play this with a little outside, which makes it more difficult to just go for the nine in the bottom right. Seconds. She can go up and down. Length of the table. Nice. Oh, but she hit that. She's it's good. Quite soft. I think it's going to run pretty good, this one. She and she's going to have there? the nine in the side, though. Did she get far, far enough down table in order to oh make it? That that's back what it. I wonder. Let's see here. Uh, I think so, right? I think she can cut it. But where's the cue ball going? Is she traveling three wheels? Yeah, this is. Oh, she banked it. Nice. And it goes in, but where did she leave the cue ball? <laughs> Woo! Drama here in Klagenfurt. One at a time. Some here. drama. They left it some drama here. And this is a really big tempo. What did she call it? I don't know what she called it. I don't know. Probably in the side Bank pocket it. and leave the cue ball in the short rail. That's what I would do. Or say. Bankaroni. Nope. No. Jasmine Ocean to go on the hill first. The nerves are really there. You can feel it. Goes in. Jasmine Oshan on the hill. 6 5. Against Pia Filler. Back and forth. Big drama here. Yeah, it's. It's, it's hard to judge what's going to happen from here, right? Because I feel like both players are kind of. Give and take some some really good shots and then mixing up with some you know errors so to say. Yeah, we. I'm pretty sure. So here are I some. Uh, I think this is the organizer. And to the left, Albin's and Jasmine's manager. Okay. Gerald. Okay. It's his first name. Yeah, did a great job. Without him, this whole event was not going to be here. Okay. Beautiful. I think I'm I'm safe to say that both ladies are not playing their best in this match. Again, a lot of spin on the cue ball. I wonder if the one is going to go, the four goes. is going to go, and she's... And the three? Oh, she has no shot on the one. She can play real first, though, no? 
not sure how much it's out of the corner, but and this is the this is the typical thing when you like feel like it's not things are not going your way. Then definitely not gonna go away. You're not gonna get a shot, easy yeah, shot. Wha yeah. What is the percentage of not <laughs> being able to make the one? If but she can play corner. rail first though, underneath, right? Yeah, but uh, the two bullets just laying. has no future. Well, she have to, what else is gonna do? Just make True, it, and I then I maybe you, you know you can do something with two. You know. I agree, but very difficult. This is like sometimes you don't really want to shoot the one, but you have to. Mm. And then, yeah. Stuff. She can go one rail. She can also just kick two rails if she can reach it. If she goes two rails and plays it with a lot of speed. But she's playing a push out. Another push out this match. Putting a nine and a two together. Mm -hmm. But it did not lock up the two. And I am giving this back. I don't think she can make the one. And there is no kicking the short rail anymore. What do you think? Pia is going to win this game, I know. This game <laughs> is going to be a little <laughs> over. So it doesn't matter what she does. <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet the whole game. And just wait and start commentating on the hill. hill. <laughs> No, I'm giving this back. No way I'm shooting this. I think Jasmine is giving it back. Yeah. I have no idea what to do here. This is a trap. Can she go long rail first? Hit the inside of the... No. Yeah, there's no... Like a kick. She's playing it real soft. Just I'm I like that, just conservative, but Oh the double kiss. Mm hmm But o open shot for Jasmine. And if she can get two rails on that two ball in the top right corner. Well I know it's going to go hill hill, but it looks <laughs> if she does that then it looks like she have a chance to to, to not make it hill yeah, hill. Yeah, to <laughs> not make it hill, yeah. <laughs> So the team, the players for the team matches are practicing up here. Oh, she overcut it. We we got Taiwan, Filipino, superstars, Bosnia, Japan. Shinji is there. Huh? Shang from from Taiwan. Biado. World champions. Wukong Lin. Yoan Chua. Mm -hmm. Masato Yoshioka. The stars have tuned up. They turn up for this tournament. Oh. Nice kick. And a nice little. Really nice. Just when she needed it the most. Lies nudge on the five. And she might be able to cut the two and run into the nine. The three yeah, is in front of the she bucket. If she makes it, I think it's automatic position because the cube is gonna stop on the on the on the nine, like a bumper. Nice. She played it with stun as well. Very confident stroke. Big shot. So we go into the famous hill hill. There's Joshua Fille. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, he said. Uh, quite straight on this three still. Maybe it would be nice to cheat the pocket a little bit and stun draw over. Nice, nice. back and forth. You see, sometimes she, for a while, she looks like she's striking the ball nice and leaving herself good angles and everything, and then sometimes just mm -hmm. looks like she just cannot finish it. So let's see here, back and forth, right? Yeah. Little stun left, not too much left. Nice. That's good. Needs to leave a Pretty small much perfect. Angle. Yeah, perfect. perfect angle on the six. Perfect. This is to make it hill hill. Six apiece. Filler versus Hushan. But in this case, it's Pia Ten and Jasmine, seconds. not 
Alvin and <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they have been there before. And she can just choose to stun in between the seven and the eight. Center Taking ball. her time here. Because she is shooting the seven in the same pocket. I'm not sure if that goes. No, this was a shot. Very nice. Found the gap. And from here, it's three stop shots. Uh, uh, two stop shots and uh, just a follow for the 10. To make the match hill hill. Seven, eight, nine. Ten left. For heel, 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 heel. Eight down, nine, okay. and ten. Looking good. Straight in. Just follow it down. Big match here. This is to qualify for the last 16. Down goes the nine. This 10 ball, if she Just makes the it. Ball left. If she makes it, we go hill, hill. And it's exactly what we've been expecting <laughs> from the beginning. Boom! Hill, hill between these two ladies. So, let's see what's the, what the break is going to give us. Some handshake before. High five. High well five. done. We're hill hill. Yeah, the way uh, the way she ran that wreck, I was impressed. You know, with, with her uh, back against the wall, she ran a lot nicely. First, she kicked the one in, right? Yeah, and then and then that uh, cut shot on the nice two. Nice cut on the two. That like was a yeah. huge shot as well. And then got perfect position position for the for the rest of the rack. It was nice. So you figure if she gets a chance, you know, ma the mindset for me is if she get opportunity, she'll uh, be a favorite to run out, I think. As long as it's not crazy difficult. Let's see, last time Jasmine broke from this side. She made a ball and got position on the one. Here we go, hill, hill. A lot of balls moving, something going in. Mm, the two ball, no. Mm -mm. So, Pia back to the table. Hill, hill, race to seven, six apiece. Facing a safety shot first. Might be able to bank the one ball over and get the cue ball behind the six. Can also choose to bank the one ball next to the six and get the cue ball behind the three. That's what she's looking at right now. Behind the four. Is she gonna get there? No. She left open one ball. Not easy. Well, nothing is easier when you kill him in, in the games. hit the one ball thin of course to get the cue ball back and she already Two stood up during the shot I think it's and the six ball is tied up yeah we're looking for a we're looking at a long hill hill game I think well this might get real dramatic yeah because of course now you give ball in hand to your opponent it's like I don't see oh, any oops, real uh, easy up. solution either I mean you gotta I guess you gotta get an angle on the five right yeah, or on the and four and just yeah. take the risk and blast, Bra blast in it and yeah. hope you get on the five. Four, the five, there is some opportunities to do it.
Down goes the two. Let's see what she have in mind. So she was already thinking ahead. What am I about to do with the six eight? She does have a nice angle to do something here. A lot of right. Bump d8 and still come up out for the five in the top right corner pocket in this field. Let's see what she's gonna do. Follow it or draw it. It's either that. Let's see, have a slight angle come down. She used her extension now because it's important here. Oh, she might play safe from there. Leave the cuba behind the nine. Oh, she could also go to the five ball, position herself nice on the six, and then play a safety behind the ten seven. But she's choosing the safety behind the nine. And then, so as if she gets ball in hand, she can solve the six mm -hmm. eight. That would be an option. Pretty good option, I think. Let's just stick it. Mm. Mm. Oh, and that seven, seven ball. So Did that seven <laughs> ten ball get tied up? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. would be brutal. And we don't have any extension left on Pia. I wonder if Jasmine have extension left. Ten seconds. Good one. Now Pia is faced with a kick shot. Found herself. Call the side pocket. Which I like if she doesn't make it in the side. There's a big chance to leave the five ball on the top short rail. Oof, but she hit it too firm. Mm -hmm. The five was leaking out and is no, she's not giving any angle on the five. I was going to say, leave a nice angle and she can break it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really wonder, does that seven ball go to the left bottom corner? No, it does not. So we've got a lot more trouble <laughs> on this table. Didn't really look like she had that much angle to open up the 6-8. She seconds. tried to still force it out and cheat the pocket, but it was tough. If she get a good angle, she maybe she can stick the cube behind the 8 here. No? What do you think? Good angle on the 6, you can stick. And then bring the 6 ball all the way down. And if you hook, Ma might be if you possible, hook your yeah. opponent, then you can do something with the 7 as well, because if it's tied up. If she can place the cube on the center of the table, that might be a pretty good option. Yeah. She can, also she can also go forward and then still get the cue ball behind the 10-7 after, thinning the 6. Oh. Yeah. Well, now Jasmine is forcing Pia to at least make the 5, so <laughs> the 6 ball is going to be open soon. I wonder if she wanted to make it. I mean, it's like, does any of the uh, ladies want to have this position or...? <laughs> Wonder if they have in mind. She don't have a lot of time. To make up her Ten mind. Seconds. It's tough to know what you're gonna do. Okay. She don't like it. I might just thin the six ball on the right and leaving them opposite sides. Don't do too much. And the eight will block the easy safeties as well, so might still be a good trap.
like this. Mm -hmm. Distance. Like it's tough to get the so cube the up behind the, the, the first thing. problem on the table is solved. Now it's open. Now we still get seven down there, which is laying in a, in a position where it's difficult to break it up. Right? But there is a safety behind the 10-7, ten ten I think. I think she can miss the kiss. Or she bang No. Oh, she was trying it and, and she oh opens she's up the seven. Open up. Mm. And I was. Now we're uh, back at the game, yeah. I think you gotta go for it. But in the corner. Over, just make sure you overcut it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah. And then you always have the seven to go yeah. two rails in between the eight and the nine. Because the safety are not, you know, on. You're gonna. Ten seconds. Stay down, make sure you overcut it. If you miss it, overcut it. Okay, okay safety. There, there is a safety, it's okay. But too Distance. short and. Oh, she left also the six on. Yeah, but this, I don't think the seven passes the ten. Maybe it, maybe it does. Well, it looks like it does. Yeah. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. This was hill hill written all over it. Right? We told you guys 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and some drama. Last rack drama. Nice. She Ooh. made it. And she has angle on the seven. Nice. It goes. We can see it from here. It goes. Right? That's a really good shot there from Jasmine. If this goes and she gets... Yeah, uh, nice camera go. work here. Ten seconds. Probably Ten seconds. two rails just to go in between them. Then you gotta come in between. Nice. Watch oh, out, watch doesn't out. Doesn't want to bump the nine. This is gonna be oh trouble all over no. the place. Woohoo! Oh, she didn't put any jump spin cube. On that. She can jump over this. Wow. Yeah. Corner pocket. There is time as well. She doesn't have much time. 20 seconds left. Jumping. Big shot. Big shot here coming up. Pia is closing her eyes. She can't watch. What she's oh, gonna do? Is she getting Where lucky? is the eight gonna land? Oh, yeah. and this could, be <laughs> <laughs> this could be way worse than this. Oh Ooh, no. Wait. Frozen on the rail and it's 50 50. Oh boy. This is super tough. Let me see what I'll, what you would you do here, Tim? Come on, call it. She don't have shot much she time. Can, she she, don't, she already used her extension. Cut to the top right and just take a very long nine ball. Just make sure you don't. You're scratch. not gonna scratch in the side here. Uh, no. No, or or just play safe. Get behind the ten. Like she this. Plays safe. I the like this. Cubo is behind the ten. I Look like this. this. Good oh shot. Boy. <laughs> That's a big strong. applause. Give it. Come on, give it to her. That's a really good shot from her speed considering the circumstances and now back ocean she's blowing her <laughs> <laughs> exhale Set 16 so don't have any extension make sure you hit it Sh did she call it in the corner one two nice what is hit. gonna happen and here is that eight ball going to the short rail what's gonna happen here <laughs> woohoo not easy again Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> I think if she cuts it, she runs in the ten ball yeah. guaranteed. And oh boy, you know you can push the ten up to the corner and just make that long nine. That's it. No extension. She got soon 15 seconds left to make up her mind and execute a shot. I wonder if she's cutting it, or playing safe. Cut. Took the risk. Where's the cue ball ending up? Perfect. The temple oh, comes wow. up back on the spot and she goes to get her extension. She'll be two balls away from winning this dramatic <sighs> match. Just make sure you get up far enough. Don't scratch in the side. Let's see what's the shot. How much how many seconds she got left? No emotions from my from Miss Usha. She can barely reach it. Fifteen seconds left. 
Good shot. This is a she wants this good to cue ball. Come out of the rail, yeah. You don't get better opportunity than this. Whoo! Tumble. Tumble left for the win. And down goes she the yes, she said. <laughs> okay. What a big struggle at the oh, end. Whoa, what a big attack. drama. It was a great match from Pia Filler. 7-6 over Jasmine Ocean from Austria, the local. So we'll be back later on with some team matches. No, at 4 o'clock, yeah, yeah, first of all, right? Yeah. And uh, thank you all for watching. This was Marcus Shamat and Tim myself, De Tim De Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.